I'm here dockside at the Caribbean 600 next to Lloyd Thornburg's newly launched Mod 70 Fado Cubed and British skipper Brian Thompson is going to give us a look around. Okay, welcome aboard Fado Cubed. This is one day before the Caribbean 600 race and 13 days ago we were still in Brittany and uh, we've sailed across the Atlantic in nine and a half days, five days from the Canaries and uh, Due to a lot of hard work from a lot of people and a lot of faith from uh, Lloyd, we're ready for the race. And I'm going to show you around some of the interesting features on board this boat. One of the key elements that makes this boat so fast is this curved foil. And you put it down on the leeward side when you're doing about uh, 18 knots or more, and it, and it serves to lift the leeward hull out of the water. Instead of being pressed down, it'll actually lift up out the water and create less drag. So you can uh, pull it down, and also you can rake it fore and aft to affect the trim of the boat. So it's a very effective tool and we're going to drop it down now. There, it's ready for action. Okay, so when you've got a boat that goes this fast, 35, 40 knots, you want to reduce the drag as much as possible on the mast. So having a mast that rotates into the apparent wind really uh, helps. So this mast can rotate up to 45 degrees uh, into the wind. So you tend to rotate it so it's facing exactly the apparent wind. So when you're going upwind, the apparent wind is about 23. When you go downwind, it's about 45 to 50. So now we're just going to rotate the mast a little bit and you can see it turn around and now it's facing into the wind. Well, if you're very observant, you might notice that not only does the mast swing from one side to the other, it also cants so that the mast can be further to windward, uh, which has two effects. It, it brings the weight of the mast, which is about uh, 800 kilos, to windward by about three meters. And also it, it acts like a windsurfer and it makes the sails more efficient, it heals the boat over less, makes the mast absolutely vertical to the wind to generate the most power that you can. So this mast can move in uh, many different directions. Okay, well there's about 10 tons of load on the main sheet at times when you're going upwind on this boat. And uh, we use hydraulics to create that uh, 10 tons. And uh, that is easy to dump from various positions. We, we can dump the hydraulics from the both helms positions or from, from the middle of the boat. So that may, that's an that's a added safety feature for us. So I'm just going to ease a little bit of main sheet now on the ram and you'll be able to just see, see it come out. Now we've depowered the boat. Welcome to the cosy accommodation on Fado Cubed. Just in the aft area we've got uh, a one burner stove, which is our galley. Uh, small bunk back aft. Nav station midships with a bucket seat, a computer, two phones, and then forward you've got two small bunks and then storage area. So it's a bijou accommodation, but all we need for the Caribbean 600.